In other words, the Pixel 8 will be a flagship killer, and certainly, compared to the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, it is undoubtedly a more compact and small smartphone. The Pixel 7a is very boxy, but the Pixel 8a has similar rounded corners to those of the Pixel 8 with a smaller form factor at 6.1 inches. Although the top and bottom bezels appear fairly thick, that is acceptable for a tablet that will only cost $499. The Pixel A series has historically adhered to the same general design aesthetic as the premium Pixel family. That appears to be the case with the Pixel 8a as well, as freshly leaked pictures indicate it will blend the design elements of the Pixel 8 and 7a together. This has iPhone-like edges, an aluminum camera bar, and a blue hue somewhat resembling the Arctic blue color scheme of the Pixel 7a. Of course, there will be additional hues as well, but it is too early to speculate on what they might be. The best part is that the Pixel 8 uses Tensor G3 silicon, giving you access to the newest AI wizardry and IP given that this gadget is likely to be a flagship model. We might not see a seven year commitment for OS and security patches, but we can be confident that it will receive four years worth of OS and security patches every month, which will be more than enough for the majority of us. The Pixel 8 a still has a dual camera system with a main and ultra wide lens according to certain renders from OwnLeaks and SmartPics. It will undoubtedly produce some amazing pictures and films and will benefit from all the software's magic. It will have at least a 90Hz screen, similar to the 7a, a built-in fingerprint reader and improved face ID system, and of course Android 14 out of the box. With the Pixel 8, we'd be relatively confident that RAM and storage options won't change this year. That would imply that the Pixel 8 would have the same options as the Pixel 7a, which were 8GB of RAM and at least 128GB of storage. This is also supported by a recent GeekBench benchmark leak, albeit these can be faked, so take this with a grain of salt. Hubble included slow wireless charging functionality to the A series for the first time with the Pixel 7a. It also included a 90 Hz refresh rate for the panel. Given that it would be absurd to add both capabilities to one generation of devices and then remove them from the next, we can assume that both will be included on the Google Pixel 8a like the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 would probably ship with Android 14 out of the box. We anticipate three Android upgrades and five years of security fixes for the Pixel 8 uh, because Google has not indicated that it will modify its upgrade promise for Pixels this year. There is some information on the Pixel Flip and Pixel 4.2, which may be released alongside the Pixel 9 series next year. There is breaking news that TSMC is developing a Tensor chip. Originally scheduled for next year, it will now debut alongside the Pixel 10 in 2025 due to a few difficulties. So as you may have heard, the Tensor G5 will be built using TSMC's robust and energy efficient 3 nanometer technology. We'll finally have something to battle Qualcomm and Apple, I suppose. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll meet you guys in the next one.